I would like to thank the people for giving me the opportunity to present this blanket back to the Kiksuddy clan. It was made for my mother by Sally Hopkins. Uh, she, my mother was a Kiksuddy Dachan, Chief Katlian, was her grandfather. And my sisters and I agreed that we should just give it back to them. And I'd like uh, Amy Nelson to come up, please. So it is a hot tid. She's cohas, carcass, cardiac, yet cosade. I take good as she's if such it is a sudden to wait a has car get out. She got the hard rate, you kid. Two Good It was made for my mother by Sally Hopkins. It was made, you heard her, by Sally Hopkins. And I, my uncle was uh, Peter Nielsen, called Akashuk. And we have a, a Nakhain Chilkut blanket that was made for my uncle, which is right now located in, at the Park Center in Sitka, Alaska. And this one here I did not know anything about, but however, it's here. And I'm happy to say that the right person has the blanket at this time. I want to thank all of you for having the privilege of being here myself to talk to you people. This is my first time here at the uh, Centennial uh, Celebration. I've heard about it so many times and now I have had the chance to be here. So thank you again. Kahaniki, <laughs> Okay, is everyone ready for more dancing? Can't hear you. You ready for more dancing? There we go. Okay, to introduce the next uh, several groups this afternoon, I'd like to introduce uh, my friend, uh, Carlton Smith, uh, director of Sea Alaska Corporation, will be your master of ceremonies. Carlton?
Thank you, Jerry. Uh, my name is Carlton Smith, and I, I have to admit, I have to admit to Jerry first of all that uh, well, he told told us several times that we couldn't sit in the middle section. I, I've been sitting in the middle section just most of this time taking care of my granddaughters over here, but they said that's okay. I just wanted to say briefly before Esther and her group come out that uh, it's a privilege, it's an honor to be involved in celebration. It's a double honor to be able to stand here before these three great nations of ours. It's been a privilege to be involved with Sea Alaska and the Heritage Foundation in its early years. It is a true honor. Uh, before they come out, I wanted to just uh, tell the group uh, my name, my tribal name, given name is Shunakoa. It is a Klukwan name, a killer whale house, a fin house, and Charlie James uh, had that name for many, many years, died uh, several decades ago. It's a real honor to stand here and to be able to wear a clan property. Esther Shea is known to most folks in the region as the leader of traditional activities in the Tongass. And her group, this is how they describe their group, the Tantaquan Takwe Di Dancers, the dance group leader, of course, Esther Shea. We are the indigenous people of Ketchikan. We are the people of the Tongass and the Ketchikan area. We will be performing our traditional songs and dance. We're excited to be here. Ladies and gentlemen, the Takwe Di Dancers, let's give them a hand. to Kwan. Let's give them a warm welcome.
for the Chiefs for inviting us to the celebration in 1996. Having come here and had such a warm welcome and observed so many beautiful dance groups from Canada and the United States, you can't help but feel good about this. We are very happy to perform for you today. We will be performing tonight also at 10.30, I believe, at the A&B Hall. But I'd like to introduce my mother, Esther Shea, who will be doing the introductions of the songs tonight from the Tongas Take Way D Kats Hit. She is our cultural leader. She's also a JOM instructor in Ketchikan, and we love her very much. And without her, we could not perform for you tonight. So without uh, further ado, I'll introduce my mother, Esther Shea. <laughs> Thank you very much for inviting us here with my children and the friends that we have with us here that, that are that taking part with us. We are very happy to be here. And long ago, when we spoke our language to the people, we always said, if there is anything that did not quite please you or we did something wrong, please excuse us. Thank you very much. <laughs> Our next uh, song is going to be the love song, Bewen Ashii, my uncle's song. About 150 years ago, one of our distant aunties married into a group of Native Americans from the Pacific Coast down in Canada, down in Port Hardy. Her name was Mary Ebbets, and her father was a chief of the Bear Clan on Tongas Island, and his na Indian name was Onda. That name's still alive today in the, up in the Nass River. And Morris Haldane, who wished to be with us today, was he's over at the A&B Hall, so we, regrettably we can't dance together. He has that name today. But, but Onda's daughter had a wonderful family down in Port Hardy, and their names are the Hunts. 
And with us today is Mary Ebbett's grandson, Alex Hunt, and I'd like you to give him a big hand. He's here from Port Hardy. And, and with him is his nephew, George Hunt, who will be doing a, a special later on in our performance of the Hamitsa song, the Wild Man song. But George would like to do a presentation at this time before we do the bear song. George? I'd just like to, on behalf of the Hunt family, the Kwagyuth, the Ugumalis from Tsakis, from Fort Rupert, would like to thank the opportunity to share the stage with my Klingit relatives that we have just been reunited with in less than f the last four years. They came down, some of you might not be aware, but some of them, a lot of them came down and helped us open up our big house less than four years ago. We opened up the first big house we've had in our land in something like 50 or 60 years. So it was really an honor for them to come and help us. And we've been sharing and reuniting and I was so glad to come to celebration because I've never been up here. And we know that we are part Klingit because we still maintain the Chilkut blanket that came with Mary Ebbets on Islaga. So to honor her, I had an opportunity to design a blanket for Pendleton. Pendleton was contra contracted by the American Native College Fund and I was commissioned to do the design, but did it in a donation and so the, every, all the proceeds are going to the American Native College Fund. So what, what I'd like to do at this time is start on my quest to reunite with our real strong Klingit root because we realize that without her, we wouldn't be the strong Kwagyuth people that we have become without her strength and perseverance. And she went through a lot of hardship when she moved down and became one amongst our Kwagyuth people. It took, with each generation, my great-grandfather George Hunt, my namesake, then David Hunt, then Tommy Hunt, they all married high-ranking people from other first houses of the nations down there. So each, each generation we got stronger and stronger and became Kwakukiwak, Moachat, Nuchanoth, and now, I'm here on behalf of the family to recognize that we, and I'm so proud that Alex, because he represents a closer generation, a closer tie, and now since I've been here, not only reunited with our connection up that's on the stage, but today I met some of our other Tongas relatives, and I'm hoping that this is gonna lead, it looks like it's gonna lead, so we'll find out exactly how and who and where we're connected. So I just really, would feel so humbled in my heart and almost beyond words of, of gratitude for having the opportunity. So without further ado, I'd like to uh, bring my uh, tribute out and present the blanket to, to Esther in an acknowledgement of what she's doing. The, the blanket is a tribute to all grandmothers. I meant it to be a tribute to all grandmothers, specifically that strong grandmother spirit and how that strong spirit guides us, and I really honor the, the Klingit and the Haida and the Zimpsian for what they do always honoring the maternal. We have a different way in the Kwagyuth. It depends on where, which house is stronger. It will go to the father or it will go through the mother. But we recognize and understand that without um, a strong woman behind you, you can't, you can't stand here. You can't without my grandmothers and my mothers before me. So. That's what the blanket is about. It's a tribute to all grandmothers and the spirit that they keep alive and how they've persevered and kept the culture alive for all First Nations. Gaelic as far.
We'll now go to our next performance. If you uh, watch the public television, my mother did a, a, uh, a documentary uh, with the University of Alaska and Ward Shrell and Ketchikan called The Bear Stands Up. And explaining in there that we were asleep and hibernating and we needed to wake up. So we woke up with our culture again. And we dedicate this song to that. This song is, not, is called The Bear Stands Up. The next song is After the Bear Stands Up. He has to look to a higher power to believe that his life will get better. And always there is our Lord God. And we have a song that we were allowed to use from Eva Karlick, who lives in Prince Rupert, but is originally from here in Juneau. And this song is called I Went Up Above. I went up above the fine strength. In our, in our past history, we've used a song that's unique to 
our clan in our area, and you may have observed the performance that uh, was done by our late Chris Makua. It was the wild man song. In talking to the relatives from Alert Bay, they too have a wild man song. And I believe, in talking with my mother, that when Mary Ebbets went down to Port Hardy, we exchanged the song and a dance through the marriage. And George Hunt and them called this, their wild man song, the Hamitsa. And I would like his wife to tell you about the song and what the performance is today. My name is Mahema. I come from the Nuchanuth Nation. And George's Nuchanuth chief name is Nazunis. It means light beyond the mystical dawn, or it's otherwise referred to as the great light. And today he'll be doing the Hamatsa dance, and it's very sacred. In the old days, the eldest son of the chief would go into the forest and he would fast. He would have um, one attendant or a slave that would bring back a message if anything took over him. If he left the world, that, that person would bring back the message to the family. They would go into the forest for four months and they would find their animal spirit. They would become wild. And they were brought, when they were brought back into the community, they were giving, given what is called a helikiste, which is the firstborn daughter, the princess, and she would tame him. She would be just in front of him feeding him. He's starving. He's hungry. And she's symbolically offering him. Well, the copper would be displayed right by the fire, and that's what she would be offering him. Well, and giving him that power that he has so rightfully earned. In the old days, they would go for four months. In today's world, it varies. It is still practiced, and it is um, very high, and it's a real honor for George to be doing this dance. It's both of our first visit here to Alaska, and right from our first breath, it's been so very overwhelming. We're both very honored, and our spirits are so high. Klecko, klecko.
Next song we'll be doing is the Chiefs song. This song we'll be at a potlatch and singing the Chiefs. And we would like to, in our minds, believe it's every one of you for holding such a wonderful event, but also in, in staying here and listening to us sing. So here we have this Chiefs song. As you know, we're take way deep, ton to quant take way deep, and we are aware that one of our children has passed on, and one of our grandchildren also. So we have a memorial song we would like to sing and dedicate to Stephen Johnson from Angoon, who's take way deep yetki as well as Bill Williams, who's take weedy Dutch Kun from Ketchikan. Bill White, I'm sorry, Bill White. But we'll sing just half the song until the party's complete in the memory of Stephen Johnson and Bill White.
Now we're going to do a hunting song. This is a fun song for young bucks and old bucks. <laughs> Our deer tonight's going to be Alex Sun from Alert Bay. He wants to be the deer or something. <laughs> so we have the bow and arrow dance where two hunters go out with a bow and arrow and they go hunting and they hunt and they look around and finally they spot this great big buck. All kinds of points on it. Then they uh, dance around the deer and then one of them makes the kill and they celebrate. So uh, now we have the bow and arrow song. We sacrifice him because he's a grandchild of Cake Wavy. <laughs> Our next song is a uh, song my mother recently composed. Her father's from Wrangell. His name was Richard Harris. And uh, she felt like she needed, as any child would, for their father to write a song for the clan of her father's people. So she wrote a Cake Said He Loves song. So right now we'd like to do for you a new song, the Cake Said He Loves song. Is Marge Bird here from Wrangell? Well, we dedicated this to Wrangell. Marge, would you come up and dance with us? My daughter helped me with this uh, song. Her trinket name it's with her we put the song together. My father came from Wrangell. 
So we're, we're singing the song to him, Fix Adi, Ani. see where Gideon bugs out of that song, but it's a nice song. Uh, with us today is my uh, lovely wife Janice out there. Janice who's supporting our clan through all her hard work and leading the songs at times. And her uh, sister Libby Wantanabe and her son Justin is back there. And also my cousin, cousin Gilbert Fred, who graciously always comes to support us as a family. Thank you, Gilbert, very much. And good. And also, without our sister-in-laws, we'd be having a lot of problems because they do a lot of fundraising and working with us and trying to get us here, organizing the rooms. And Sue Shotridge has done that for us, and I really thank her. And she's here today with us also. Also with us is our, one of our grandchildren uh, and his son, Lee Wallace, and his son, John, or Hootsie. <laughs> Thank you very much. So, uh, of course, in the hunts who came up all the way from Little Bay, would you give them a hand? I think they're just wonderful. Thank you. My mother will introduce the next song. We have little children who would like to do a, a, a nice little kid's song that my mother and my sister worked with them on. As I announced earlier, we're going to do another set tonight at the uh, last part of the uh, A&B uh, 
performances tonight. Uh, Dennis Stemmert graciously allowed us to do one more performance. If you wish to come and invite your family or others. Um, also, I'd like to mention, just for the sake of uh, the effort that we've had to proceed with over the years, that the Tongass tribe is one of the groups that is part of the landless, and we have worked with the landless coalition and proceeding with a way to resolve and remedy the landless situation. And I think that Sea Alaska, as well as Klukwan Incorporated, have done a wonderful job and we're continuing to do so, to work on a standalone bill that can uh, help all the landless people. So I appreciate that, and I hope that uh, we continue that effort. So we will be performing tonight, and right now we'll do our exit. Thank you very much. so much, yes? One more hand, thank you. 